Good morning, everybody. It's your boy Jay Got, and it's currently I don't know if y'all can see that 5:30 a.m. Uh, we're getting ready to meet Daniel and Mark in about 20 minutes, and then we're hitting the road. It's North Carolina Vintage Bazaar Day. See y'all when we get there. All right, y'all. So it's six o'clock. Y'all, y'all see where we at? We got the fellas with us. What's up, y'all? Morning. Yo, what's today? Saturday. Today's Saturday. What are we doing? Going to North Carolina. <laughs> this guy, he, he frees up when he get on well, camera, y'all. It's too early for test questions. He get on, he frees yeah, up. Yeah, like, I ain't studied for this test. No, all right. We doing uh, North Carolina Vintage Bazaar. Yeah. Raleigh, North Carolina. And we'll be there in three hours, y'all. So Three hours. So we got to get on the road. Yeah. So as soon as we set up, I'm coming back with y'all. All right. And baby girl with us. Look at that. Oh, we got company. Oh, wow. <laughs> she missed the last trip. So, so y'all, let me let me explain something to y'all. I bought this stuff, right? Y'all see what it is, right? I bought the Seattle stuff. Here, here. I bought the Seattle stuff just because I was coming to this event. We're far from Seattle. We're on the East Coast. We're in North Carolina. And she walked up to me. And where are you from? Yeah. She's from Seattle. And she buying both pieces. She just told me her story off camera. We're not gonna get into it. But yo, her story is inspirational. And yo, I appreciate you. What is your Instagram so we can follow uh, each other? My Instagram is A-L-B-R-I, -E follow your girl. And shout out to John for these pieces. Thank you. And his story, this is amazing. Thank I appreciate y'all. All right, so just introduce yourself and tell us what you out here doing today. My name is Sammy. We out here with State of Mind, showing everybody the brand. We're an organic lifestyle brand based out of Brooklyn, New York. You know, come shop with us. We got some more stuff on the way. New shirts as well. And where can they find all that? You can find us on Instagram, State of Mind Focus, all one word. Our website, stateofmindnyc.com. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right, so, so what you said? You, you said no pressure? No pressure. No pressure. And what did you say? This is the best vendor in the whole place. You see that? You see that? <laughs> yo, yo, I didn't do it. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. They said it. Hey, look. Look how many vendors in here, y'all. So, what did you just get? What you so, get? Hold on. Before, got... before we do this, if y'all don't recognize that man, I need y'all to go follow, subscribe, all that. She be, yo, there was a fight in the band. And she, she caught it on camera. So, yo, what you just so, bought? I got work pants because I'm always looking for work clothes uh -huh. that don't look like everybody else. Gotcha. People don't understand, this is Alfred Dunner. Yeah. This is Alfred Dunner. I know what it is. You don't know who Alfred Dunner is. I do. I be finding this stuff. It's all this way. It's like PJs. Like right. Yeah. See? And I got both hair. Yeah. They were meant for me. Yeah. yeah they were. The and then, and then, she don't want to be on camera, but she is the one. What, what's your Instagram? Find me vintage. Yeah, my Instagram is find me vintage. Find me vintage. Hey. Yeah. That's what's up. Dynamic duo right here. Richard Benigni, and it might be Vintage. Y'all go follow us. Make sure y'all go. Man, this is a big 
amazing. We've been buddies for like almost two years. Yeah. What up, how are you? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Interaction with everybody. Interacting with everybody. Yes. But yo, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So what just happened, bro? So I had a young lady. You purchased something else. Oh, right here? Yeah, I bought some shoes. Okay. So she bought some uh, Air Force Ones for a nice little price because we give out deals here. Yeah, we give out. And just to let y'all know, before we go on, we had two, three, four. I want, do y'all think, well, before I ask this question, how do you think that customer service is? It's pretty good. It's pretty, it's like, compared, pretty to friendly any, and nice here. compared to any other vendors in here. I haven't talked to any of the vendors, so. We so the first people you talked to? Well, really? I'm like, really? fine from others, really but talked. I haven't like talked. Okay, so you felt comfortable enough to talk though? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's what's up. So okay. here's the thing, right? Yeah. She bought some shoes. She had a dollar left. I think she said out loud, uh, I wonder can I get some for a dollar? No, 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 I gave her the idea. Oh, Jay gave her the idea that, hey, you got a dollar left, see if you can find some for a dollar. So we hooked her up, I'm gonna show for this. For one dollar. One dollar, the Dolphins Village East Port. Come on now. And it's for moms? For moms. For moms. And she only got it for a dollar. Yo, tell your mom challenge. about this challenge. <laughs> while, while this is on camera, how much are these, yo? It's all awesome. camera. That's an off camera thing. <laughs> All right, y'all, thank y'all so much. Thank you. All right, y'all, so we are at, y'all see where it's at? We have finished the uh, Yo, is this both of y'all or is this? Yeah, this is me. So yeah. this is my man, Holy Grail, uh, and then what is your drink? My name is Chris Seth, I'm from in the middle. All right, so they got a $5 pile, right? How high was it? Uh, it, was, it, was, it was about that high this morning. Yeah. Maybe a hundred T's left. hundred T's left, right? We're doing a coin flip for the rest of these T's for 50 or 100. You want to call it or y'all want to call it? Tails it is. Tails it is, bro. I ain't mad. Hey, Tails hey, it is. Hey, they rolled roll the dice, bro. Tails it is. Tails That's it your is. quarter. So now we got to pay down. And we got to figure out how we getting this home. Jeez. We didn't think about that. Yo, so look. Do you, all right, after, this is, this is post coin flip, bro. Uh, do you regret this? Do I regret? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Bro, even if we do five, ten dollars a piece, like we getting that bread back. Faded night, you double that. Yeah? I'm looking at it. You regret just looking at it. That's a lot of damn shirts. Yeah, we almost done. You already got a lot of stuff. We almost done. We almost done. You we had it. We think this shit. You were adding to the stuff. We, we, we think this shit. This is going to be ready for the next event. It's okay. It's a motorcycle. Yeah. This is a lot, but we're doing it. I'll, I'll keep y'all updated. So it's the end of the event, y'all. Look, I'm gonna just show y'all. We still here unpacking. I got my last rack right here. And this is one of the organizers. Hey, how are you? What is your name? My name is Garrett. Uh, one of the organizers of NC Vintage Bazaar. And tell them a little bit about Vintage Bazaar. Yeah, Vintage Bazaar is North Carolina's biggest vintage clothing market. Um, so we try to bring a bunch of vendors from all over the country together. Um, tons of vintage women's wear, t-shirts, pretty much anything vintage, jewelry, um, anything vintage we try and get people here. Um, how, how long have y'all been doing this event in general? Not uh, just the big ones that y'all yeah. do. So we've been at it for about three years. Um, this will be, I think our sixth big indoor one and it's grown every year. So we're and I think if y'all done six, this is our third time being with y'all. Okay. Because once, the, the second time that I wanted to come, yeah, yeah. it was their wedding anniversary. Uh, and we couldn't do it, so yeah. but we've been back ever since. Yeah, well, we definitely appreciate you guys coming. And um, y'all do outdoor events too. We do outdoor events, yeah, a little bit smaller, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're about forty vendors. So what made you pick this spot? Because you you guys used to be at the convention center. Um, yeah, 
the parking is a lot better here. Okay. Down, being downtown at the convention center is like pretty hard to get so many people to kind of find parking and do all that. Um, also, the two-day event is a lot easier to do here. Um, the expo rents it out as a weekend. Like that, the whole thing is they rent it out as the weekend, so you can't just rent Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. So you rent it out for the weekend. So you might as well do the two-day. That's what's up, man. And yeah. last question, man. Sure. So this event has grown over the years. Sure. And with all that being said, hey, it's my guy right there. Uh, this event has grown over the years. Yeah. What do you think the key is to marketing to grow into the audience that you desire? Uh, I think the biggest thing for us is just trying different things. Um, you know, we've tried billboards, radio, newspapers, pretty much anything. We do a ton of yard signs. We'll do Instagram ads, Facebook, TikTok, anything. We'll try any type of advertisement, and it's yeah. just really. Um, yeah, pretty much just trying new things and trying to get the word out in any way we can. Man, I appreciate you as yeah, always. Love this, having you guys. This is always a good event for us. So thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, we're not going to we'll spoil see, it. We'll see you at the next one. Winter at some point. Yes. Winter. Come see us. All right, y'all. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks.